Today I'm trying out Chanel Beauty Spring Summer 22, the Repelsa de Chanel collection. six weeks and I'm French now bonjour <laughs> no seriously I think I'm actually a little bit French <laughs> yeah so I was just having a holiday and obviously I'm not really thinking about filming anything but I am a makeup junkie I am addicted to makeup especially new ranges so I'm gonna be doing another Chanel beauty makeup tutorial. I've already used some of the number one day Chanel uh, skincare collection range using the red camellia flower extract. So the skin's very supple and plump, good to go. I prefer that really clean look. Girls that get it, get it. Girls that don't, don't. Okay, I'm starting off with Le Beige Eau de <laughs> okay, I'm not French. It's the water fresh tint. I'm gonna give it one pump on the back of my hand. And then, gotta find the right, the right brush. Very watery in texture. Mixing it around with my foundation paddle. Just going over my skin. It's pretty important to Mix up this product before you apply it to your face because otherwise it can come off a little bit patchy. See, I've mixed it in and it's sort of like that now. I love the look of just really healthy, glowy skin that doesn't look cakey or just like it's not really breathing. <laughs> I also think you look a bit younger too, which is always a win. Just dewy fresh skin is where it's at. And in fact, if a product can just achieve the look of even skin tone for me, that's good enough. My favorite concealer. Just very sparingly. I like to do my makeup pretty quickly these days too. Um, if I'm feeling lazy, I just use the paddle brush again. Sometimes the warmth of your fingers just really moves that product quite subtly. And today I'm trying Spring Summer 22 La Pausa de Chanel. So in just, you know, reading the press release, so I make sure I get it correct. La Pausa Gabrielle Chanel Sanctuary, the Mediterranean sun, the endless sea, the scent of orange blossoms and fresh lavender blooms. Oh, sounds divine. The architecture of a simple, inviting and peaceful Provencal villa. Mm hmm. OK, so um, Gabrielle Chanel had a house built in her image and filled it with private references. Five windows above the front door in homage to her favorite number, number five. A banister inspired by Aubazine, the place where she grew up. Aubazine, yeah, I think I pronounced that right. And a large star above her bed symbolizing her fascination with constellations. I love this. So essentially, the Spring Summer 22 makeup collection is heavily inspired by La Pausa. The beauty of this legendary villa, 
the light of La Pausa, dear to Mademoiselle Chanel, as we've said. Um, yeah, so the natural earthy colors and sparkling sunlight surrounding the villa is at the heart of this collection, along with the sunbeam button motif designed as a graphic representation of the Riviera. Long story short, Mediterranean vibes. This gorgeous palette is number 747 Mediterranean. And yeah, you can definitely see the sunbeam references there. Beautiful earthy tones, all shimmery. I used to be an only matte palette kind of gal, but I love a good shimmer these days. Hmm, hmm. Chanel products do come off subtle and light. That said, I will still probably go in with one of the softer shades first, maybe this one. And this is using the Chanel eyeshadow blender number 204. Just gonna dust this over the entire eyelids. I'm just experimenting as I'm going. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the same color and a flat brush. This is the Chanel flat eyeshadow brush number 202. I'm just gonna run that same shade along my lower lash line. Using your fingertips certainly does pack on more product. I'm gonna go into this beautiful olive color right here. Just gonna pack it onto the main part of my eyelid to just deepen those tones. I'm gonna go back in with my flat brush and then go in with this lighter shade here and just buff out the wider part of my eyelid. Then I'm going into this very light shade here with my finger, popping it into the corners of my eyes. I'm gonna be using this uh, long lasting eyeliner and this is in khaki metal number 56. It's just like this. And I do this quite messily because I'll use a brush to blend it out. But I like to go quite tight to my lash line just to deepen the look. Using this tiny little eye contour brush in number 203, I'm just going to smudge everything out a little bit. Time now for blush. This is Peach Rosé Brush Lumiere. And when you open it up here, it is this gorgeous peachy tone. I'm going to use the Precision Powder in number 107. The designs are just so beautiful. I almost don't want to use the product because we lose our little beautiful CC there. Don't mind taking it up a little bit higher sometimes if I'm in the mood. On the nose because we've been holidaying at La Pausa, a most fabulous villa in the Mediterranean. Oh, do you know what I forgot? And I often do this too, mascara. I'm just gonna pop on this. Whoa. La Volume Stretch de Chanel in number 10. Normally I would finish the eyes in one go. Mascara can tend to go onto my upper eyelid because of the hooded eyes. And I um, just don't like that look. So I just fan them out, if you will, as opposed to curling them up too much. It's quite amazing what mascara can do. I don't tend to do my lower lash line at the moment. I'm 
and that is because, again, things can just get a bit messy. And to finish off the look, I'm just going to be using one of my favourite lipsticks. This is the Rouge Ink in 140. Very soft tone. I think this lip tone is super complementary to this beautiful Terra Rossa. I'm ready to go to La Pausa Villa. If you liked this video, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.